have a special one to share today, and this is Operation Cloudfire for the original and television, and I am excited. This has an amazing bonus feature, and I'm able to show it with some additional hardware, and this is offered at Intellivision Collector, programmed by Carlos Madruga, and I am so delighted to finally share this. Uh, I played this at PRGE, and after playing it, I was blown away and requested to cover this on my channel. They sent me a copy, and here we go. This is still available, and there's about 200 copies made, and about 100 have been sold. Uh, and eventually, uh, there is discussion about it possibly being offered digitally for people that want to go that route, but uh, physical copies first. And so I wouldn't wait on this, as this to me is one of the better in television games I've played in a long time. And it's got a really cool bonus feature. It uses the ECS module to offer enhanced sound. I think that's fantastic. And Carlos has done a lot of other program games. I'm, I'm running this game on a RGB modded Intellivision 2 from Ivory Tower Collections. And here's the ECS module attached. And I'm gonna show you the differences. Here's a standard sound. So this game can be played on, a, on an Intellivision just with no additional hardware. But if you have an ECS module and you attach it and inserts a cartridge much better sound really sweet I'll show one of the tracks here's standard sound and here's the ECS enhanced sound all right we're gonna jump into the gameplay as this is an amazing platformer for the Intellivision and so, uh, gosh, there's so many great games coming out now. And just for people that didn't know, there's more aftermarket games released for the Intellivision now than the original 125. How crazy is that? And they're coming out with some amazing stuff for this classic platform. And uh, everything from just a great opener. Great track, by the way. Now I'm playing with the ECS module, so this sound will be enhanced. And it is recommended uh, from the programmer to play this way. So you find these data cores, it's, uh, you know, you're an Android, or you're trying to take, take out AI Daryl. And there's a map, there's a built-in save feature, fantastic and load, you, you have to save often. And so there's three different difficulty settings as well and multiple endings and multiple screens of this game. I, don't, I asked how many screens there were. I, I didn't get a response, but several. Um, I'm not going to ruin this experience and not show you everything, but, but essentially you find tips, you find uh, these data cores, and it's just fantastic. It plays kind of like a, a Metroidvania or a, you know multiple screen adventure game. And there's no weapons in this game either. And so, you know, if, if you die right here, you just continue on the same screen. I do recommend saving and loading because you have limited lives. So you want to save often. There's several different branching paths to take and, and puzzles to solve, but no weapons. But, you know, after playing this, you don't, you don't miss them. There's, it's, the, the level design is, is well done. The music tracks... Uh, 17 different music tracks, uh, songs and jingles. Very sweet. Graphics are well done. So you get these, uh, you get these key cards, and then you can access the matching corresponding doors. And so it says up there, you can see the white line on that map, and that's where I need to go. So you got to go back up. Just love this game. It's just so well done. An original too you know this isn't a uh, you know Intellivania is one of my favorite in television games and to me this is right up there um, which is a which is a huge uh, respect to the programmer and and everybody who's been putting these amazing 
games together because it's, it's just they're pushing that original hardware so much and if you like what you see consider hitting that like and subscribe button and clicking the bell as I do a whole bunch of different content from Atari to Xbox including in television so if you're an Intellivision fan I do cover Intellivision aftermarket uh, and homebrew releases you know this is this is such top quality though I don't even know if I want to call it a homebrew because it's just it's up there with just high production value the, the box art everything with it so you, as you progress in the game it uh, pretty much uh, offers a little bit of the story and uh, again you're, you're, you're trying to deactivate Daryl and uh, it gets pretty challenging for sure multiple screens and even boss fights I will be showing you one of those it's not really a fight per se you just it's it's avoiding a large boss and uh, uncovering and getting an additional upgrade but yeah saving often is my recommendation uh, jumping is is pretty well done you know with the Intellivision controller it can be a little tricky but if you have an aftermarket setup there's also recent aftermarket uh, control pads being offered and I'll be showing those eventually on my channel but I really have been enjoying covering aftermarket and television games and there's been so many great ones really happy to to be show, showing you this on my channel and with that enhanced ECS sound this really is a special release and I know I think there's other aftermarket games for the Intellivision please in the comments below if you want to share other aftermarket games that have enhanced ECS sound I know there's uh, and I think the Pong homebrew game for the Intellivision uses the additional controller ports so that's cool and I know there's some other games that utilize the controller ports but are there any other aftermarket homebrew games for the Intellivision that offer enhanced sound this is just truly stunning trying to progress here being pretty careful saving that game yeah if you progress and you don't die save it and then if you die just load it from where the where you saved it last really cool as a built-in save feature new enemy here there's the map pretty amazing I mean this is up there with like you know I think even with the limitations of 70s hardware it, it looks like an NES game definitely plays like one just was you know really stoked about uh, playing this at PRG okay that's a that's a blue door I need a blue key card so I have to have to go back pretty awesome So yeah, definitely in the comments below, uh, you know, what do you think of this? Definitely want to hear your feedback. And I think it's important to know the limitations of 70s hardware to really appreciate what they've done with this game. So I'm trying to hear, trying to see here. All right, got to get across here. All right, made it. So coming up here on a boss fight, I want to show you that. So your goal is essentially to just get the upgrade when you fight a boss, or at least this one. All right, now I can have reduced fall damage. Pretty sweet. I'm not going to backtrack all the way. I just wanted to show you, but just so much to appreciate about this. Each stage. Each screen has brilliant level design. So yeah, I, I can go across there. So yes, I want to thank everybody for um, viewing this video. And here are the credits of people connected to making this amazing and television release. And if you like what you see, consider hitting that like and subscribe button and clicking the bell. And thank you so much for coming to my channel. 
and I just really love showing, I, I show many other aftermarket homebrew games. You folks are wonderful and beautiful. This is the Immortal John Hancock, and you have a good day.